break. Hey, this is Nikki with Nana's Quilt Cottage. Well, I want to talk to you about the temperature quilt. You may have seen us already having the temperature quilt um, post on our Facebook page. And you may have heard about temperature quilts maybe three years ago or just now I'm the first one talking about it to you. But we want to talk to you about temperature quilts. It's a fun way to chronicle the whole year of what the temperature is outside in a quilt. So it's 365 blocks. Now don't get scared, that's not too many because our blocks are only four and a half inches, four inch finished. So they're really tiny little squares and they're very doable. And I'm gonna sew my blocks at like each week, so seven little blocks. It'll just take a moment to sew them. But I wanna show you the color palette we're using. We're using 12 different fabrics in our um, temperature quilt. So we're going from below zero to single digits, tens, you know, the teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and anything above 100, all right? So we've got a fun palette. Now, actually, these are a few of these are out of order a little bit for what I'm doing, but you can use your palette however you want. We do have three of our palettes available here at Nana's Quilt Cottage. Now, this is the beginning of January of 2023, so if you're watching this video and it's, you know, two years from now, obviously we still don't have these palettes, but the information in this video will be helpful to you if you choose to make a temperature quilt. So what we're doing for our temperature quilt is out of our palette, we're gonna cut four and a half inch strips of fabric. You're gonna cut out four and a half inch squares. And then when you can't cut any more squares, you're gonna cut one inch by four and a half inch sticks. Okay, these little sticks are gonna be part of our process. So when I'm chronicling my temperatures, okay, this is my 40 degree temperature. So this was January 1st. Um, let me see, wait. Yes, I think that's right. I can't quite remember exactly which order, <laughs> but this is my uh, 40, 40, I think it's 40 or 30. I don't know. I'd have to look at my paper. Anyway, this is to show the different things. So whatever your high temperature is, is your four and a half inch square. Your low temperature for the day is your colored strips, your little bars, the sticks is what I like to call them, okay? So it's very simple to make this. We will post a picture of the pattern later, but I thought the video will be enough for you guys to go ahead and get started. So four and a half inch strip of fabric, cut out squares and sticks, okay? So on the temperature sheet from Moda, which we'll post the link below, what you can do is you write out your temperatures every day. And then at the end of the week, you go back and make your blocks. So you're gonna cut the four and a half inch square. You're gonna take it. I'm gonna take one right here. I don't have a rotary cutter handy, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut this, okay? You're gonna cut it and you're gonna insert one of your sticks. Now, this is using the one inch rule, the one inch magic of a stick. So when I put a one inch strip inside of this, because I use quarter inch seams, thank you. So we have little elves that work here. And so, so I'm gonna take my four and a half inch square. Let me get it on camera a little more. Four and a half inch square fabric. And I'm gonna cut it anywhere as long as I cut it straight, okay? So it doesn't matter if I cut it two inches over, two and three eighths over, doesn't matter. Just cut a straight cut, okay? So I'm gonna cut it two and three eighths is what I cut this one, but that doesn't matter. Whichever one you wanna do. Oop, okay. All right, then what you're gonna do is take one of your sticks, these are one inch wide, and then we'll sew with a quarter inch seam down the side, boop, 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 and then press it toward the stick, and then you're gonna sew your other side on, okay? Now it looks like this. Now this is the rule of one inch. So if I put a one inch strip in here, because of the seam allowances, my block will remain being four and a half inches wide, okay? So our goal in this is to make a plaid kind of thing of our quilt when we're done. So four and a half inch square, one inch strip, cut it, sew it in, then after you cut it this way, we're gonna put a stick going the opposite way. Now, there's no rule to say you can't put another stick going down. Every so often do that for fun, just to add more interest. But for the way I'm doing it right now, I'm just gonna cut across, pick a spot, doesn't matter. The key is you want to be have at least more than an inch on the other side. So I don't wanna cut this, since it's four and a half, I don't wanna cut over any more than three and a half inches because it will get um, too much in the seam allowance, okay? So I'm just gonna cut over 
this blade has a nick in it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take and put my second strip in here, my next purple strip in, just like this, okay? And sew it in. Now, make sure you keep your strip going the right way. You saw that for a second? Had I sewn it the other way, it'd have been in the wrong spot, and then it wouldn't make the same plaid effect, okay? Now, I know some of you, as you're going to make these blocks, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be right down your temperatures and be like, oh my gosh, the high today was 39 and the low was 31. Okay, no problem. Then you're just going to put one solid block in that day. And I think in the overall look of the quilt, because it's supposed to be an off kind of plaid, it'll look kind of neat to just have some blank blocks that don't have any sticks in it. Or like I said, do the double sticks where two sticks go up and down, okay? Or when you put the block in, they're side to side. It doesn't matter. It's your quilt. So this quilt is actually gonna have 360 blocks on the front. You'll have five extra blocks for the back, okay? So it's gonna be 18 blocks across by 20 blocks down. So we'll sew 18 blocks together at a time and make rows, all right? So we'll put another progress video in a few weeks to show you what the quilt starts to look like. So if you have any questions, post them below, and I hope you have fun making a temperature quilt with us this year in 2023. Thanks so much, and remember, get creative at Nana's.